Welcome you all to my YouTube channel. The question is, John flew from Denver to Boston at an average speed of 500 meters per hour and returned from Boston to Denver at an average speed of 400 meters per hour. What was his average speed for this round trip? Could you figure out the solution? Pause the video for some time and think about it. Okay, so we can see that the average speed is equal to 500 plus 400 divided by two. And we are going to get 900 divided by two, we are going to get 450 meters meter per hour. Did you get this solution? Most people solve this, this question like this, but the answer is incorrect. Let us, so, let us look at a proper way to solve this question. So the average speed, we all know that is the total distance over the total time. But we can think about it, the total and a distance as for John to fly from Denver to Boston is the same total distance for John to fly from Boston to Denver. That, is, that fact we already know, right? The total distance for John to travel from Denver to Boston is the same as when John traveled from Boston to Denver. But we know that the question, we saw that the average speed is different. So since the average speed is different, it means that the, the total time for John to travel from Denver to Boston and from Boston to Denver will also be different. So since the average speed are different, the time to travel from Denver to Boston and return will also be what different. Now in the question, it said that the average speed to fly to Denver is what 500 meters per hour. Average speed to fly to Boston is what 400 meters per hour. We can represent the average speed to fly to Denver as S and average speed to fly to Boston to be what S1. And we can also represent uh, the, the total time to travel to Denver as T and the total time to travel to Boston would be T1. So the average speed, which is S, is equal to D, capital, uh, capital D divided by T. And we know that from the question, the average speed to fly to Denver is 500 meter per hour. So 500 meter per hour is, is equal to the distance, which is D, divided by what? The time. So from there, we can find the time to be what D divided by what 500. The same way that we can, we can find the second equation as S1 is equal to D over uh, divided by T1. Because from here, we establish the fact that a total distance to travel from Denver uh, to Boston and a total distance to travel from Boston to Denver is the same. So we are going to get T1 to be is equal to what? D over 400. From there, the average speed, as we already know, is for total distance divided by the total time. A total time will be the time uh, John fly from Boston to Denver and the time uh, John fly from uh, Denver to Boston. So from there, we are going to get the average speed is equal to D divided by, uh, we substitute T, T and T1 here, we are going to get D divided by 500 plus D divided by 400. So from here, we can find the LCM and we are going to get 400D plus 500D divided by 500 times what 400. From here, we can say the average speed will be D divided by 900D over 200,000. So from here, you, we can get 200,000D divided by 900D. 
then the final answer will be what 222.2 meter per hour. So this is the average speed. So this is the correct approach. Thank you for watching and always you can subscribe to my YouTube channel for more educative videos. Bye for now.